We're here at the SID display week here with Pi Scale and uh, who are you? Hello, I'm uh, Emma Langendijk. I'm the managing director of the PyScale uh, project and uh, we're setting up a uh, flexible OLED pilot line uh, here and we're trying to make flexible OLEDs. So right here is a this huge one. What is this? What are we looking at? It's just uh, uh, segmented? So this is uh, the longest uh, OLED, uh, flexible OLED in the world. It's 1.8 meter. It's made out of a roll-to-roll -roll, uh, OLED uh, display. So uh, we can make uh, rolls of 10 meters now, and we cut down to uh, 1.8 meter at this moment to, uh, yeah, to showcase here at, at, uh, at the exhibition. Uh, how do you have all these uh, shapes and stuff? Uh, how do you choose what to have in there? You can do whatever. So uh, yeah, we can deposit the OLED layer, and uh, based based on how we segment, uh, we can make a different kind of structures, different kind of customized shapes. What is this one, for example? Oh, this is just uh, for people to show and, and feel. Uh, so it's really bendable, it's really curvable. Is it, is it plastic? This is plastic. It's a standard PET coil that we put the barrier on, and then we build the OLED stack. And then uh, we can either make it transparent, like this one, or we can make it uh, with aluminium, uh, we can make it uh, reflective. Uh, what are you showing here? On the, on the wall. Yeah, if you got a sheet. This one. This, this is another picture of the roll-to-roll -roll, uh, sample that, uh, that that we are running. So we're having a roll-to-roll -roll line that does the evaporative process roll-to-roll, -roll, and uh, that's just another segmented case. So do you work with all these companies? Do you work with Holst and uh, FlexEnable and SCPI and all that to make yes. this happen? Yes, there are four research institutes that we work together with. So it's Fraunhofer, CPI, Holst Center and VTT. And together we have the equipment available to make a uh, bullet line. Where are you from? Uh, so I'm from uh, the Netherlands, from the Holst uh, Center. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, how soon is Pi Scale coming? So the roll-to-roll -roll process uh, is up and running in the summer. After that, we can produce roll-to-roll -roll and uh, provide many samples. And what's going to happen when uh, when people what's, have all these roll-to-roll? Uh, -roll? What's going to happen with this? Is it going to be so the different lighting, kind of uh, lighting, uh, it's it's meant for lighting applications. So we have uh, already a few customers like. Uh, like Audi, we have as one of the examples. They want to make rear backlights with flexible OLEDs, and they want to make a kind of 3D sculpture with with the light source. And that's that's really yeah bringing the next next step in uh, in light in the cars. Uh, bicycles, helmets on the bicycle. It should be on everything. Yes, could be in the future because uh, yeah, it's easy to adapt there, but that will be uh, too expensive at this moment. So we're aiming at automotive because there the price point can be higher. How about but for the future. Fashion. Um, this is not flexible enough at this moment for clothing, but we have on our roadmap to also do for clothing. So in R&D phase, we can really crumble it and stuff like that, but that will take a... What's the power consumption? Power consumption. So we're running at 50 lumen per watt at this moment, and uh, we're just following the roadmap of, uh, of OLED. So what does that mean compared to other sorts of lighting? So lighting LED, the LEDs typically are above 100 lumen per watt, so uh, we're catching up there. All right.